do something to do. I need a laptop. I need a laptop. I've been asked to dispose of some laptops um, and uh, I came across this one and I was just testing them. This is a Lenovo G510 i7, uh, i7 being the, the core chipset inside. And so I'm just going to check why it's not working or why in fact it's been thrown away. But battery light, yeah, power light is on at the front. Um, let's power it up. Yep, second light's come on to say it's switched on. Webcam flashed at that point. And there be the answer, I think. Nothing on the screen. I can't hear anything either, but that could be because it's got an, possibly an SSD in there. Solid state drive. Uh, no moving parts, makes no noise. Uh, no, tell a light. I can hear a hard drive. Very quiet though. Or is that the fans? Anyway, still nothing on the screen, so let's check the motherboard. One, one thing we can do is plug it into a monitor. There's a VGA output here, so we'll plug it into a monitor to see if it works. Okay. Right, okay, so I've fired it up. Nothing on the screen at the moment, but to check to see if that's actually the motherboard or whatever, I've got an external monitor here, and I'm just going to plug the VGA port in, see if we get anything. Got a beep, beep, beep. Yes, okay. Oh, great, okay. So we have got an output over here. Uh, mouse is okay. Do we get any response from anything? Uh, BBC. Yes, keyboard seems to be okay. Hang on, uh, let's check that a bit further. Yep, so all sections of the keyboard are working. Oh, numbers, hang on. Uh, caps lock. Yep. Okay, does it do anything? Can I open something up on it? Um, right, go there. Well, that's working as well. So, I'm going to open it up and have a look, see if it's, if it's just the screen. It could be a loose connection, simple as that. This is good. I like. Well, okay, so, is it a loose connection, or is it a dead dry, uh, dead screen? Well, first we're going to have to open up and find out, so, let's kill all power, start that process. Got to check the battery as well. Ah, comes with Windows 8 originally. But as we can see on there, it was Windows 10. Um, okay, that looks fairly straightforward actually. When you see these all sealed in, generally they're really easy. A couple of screws there and there. Uh, take those out, and this flips off. Let's have a look.
There we are. Now it's a standard Western Digital 500 GB uh, gigabytes hard drive. So we might replace that with an SSD if we can get it working. Depends how much it's all going to cost. But I would like a slightly larger, quicker laptop. Okay, so that's all cool. Great. So the nice thing about this is all the main screws are in here, and we're going to lift this top off in order to get access to the cabling that's inside the screen or feeding the screen. Put my screws, try and put my screws in the order that they come out. So that one goes there. Two keyboard screws. Screws. There we are. Oh, ribbon cable fell off as well. Good job it did. I'll try and keep that in place. Okay. So now what we got? is obviously the motherboard, where the optical drive goes, the bay for the battery, and it looks like the screen contains everything else. So what we're looking at is the cable. Now has the cable been pulled out in an attempt to repair it? Or not so let's just remove one of those speakers and have a little look here it is here this bit here and it comes around along there and into there and that looks all right doesn't look pinched doesn't look cracked So I'd like to know which bit is working and which bit's not. It might be worth just replacing the whole thing. Um, okay, so the next part is just to take this bit off. Now we've got access to that. We can remove it all. It looked okay. It's not pinched or anything. So this is a bit hairy. I hate doing this. Yeah. Ah, oh, I hate it. It is never fun. You're going to snap something, you are. Anyway, there's the bezel off. I think they call it a bezel anyway. I'm not really good at technology names. So, uh, there's our screen. Screen did. Hello, Monsieur Screen. And it looks like it's all in. Sometimes you get a backlight or something along here. Um, which provides the high current to, to run your LCD. I think it's high current anyway. This one just seems to come straight out of there, in there, in there. So it's built in. So it actually might be easier because we can just take this bit out, buy another one of these, put it in. If it doesn't work well, we've lost maybe 20, 30 quid. But for a four or five hundred pound system, maybe that's worth, uh, worth a punt. Uh, let's do that. Let's take it out. Screens are supported by a metal frame around the edge um, with screws in the side. So we take those two screws off there, there and there. And uh, this should come forward, hopefully enough, just to unscrew those and, and get the screen out. And let's see what we've got. There we 
go. Oh, wow. Well, that was me totally wrong. Um, hang on. <sighs> oh, that seems to include the camera camera cable as well. That might be a bit of a problem. Oh, that means we've got to buy the... Nah, come on, we don't have to buy the camera as well, do we? That makes no sense. Oh, hold on. There's a connection into the camera, so maybe the whole thing comes together. We'll have to look that up on eBay when we try and purchase a new one. Let's take it out, look at the model number, have a look on eBay. That'll be it. Didn't work anyway. Right. So if I show you the back of this, if I can get it close. So there's this tiny little cable that went into the camera. That is linked to this bit here. This seems to be all the controlling module that I talked about that sometimes is in the bottom of there. But this is the cable that also comes up and seems to go straight into the back of the LED. Sorry, the LCD. I don't know which one it is actually. Doesn't matter. And you can see there it is. So we need both bits. Including this bit. To see if it works. So I'm going to untangle the rest of that. Um, and then we'll take the part number and have a look at eBay. There we are. Let's go find out. Okay, well just off camera when I just finished, I decided to see if I could test this piece. Um, making the assumption it's broken and clearly it might not be. So I went and got another little laptop that I've got which purportedly had the same connection and it did and when I fired it up this all worked. It showed the uh, computer booting. The only bit I could really deal with with any practicality would be the cable between the screen and the motherboard. Although we've got video output if there's anything wrong here there's not a lot I can do about it. I mean, I can start thinking about changing the motherboards and all that, but you know what? That wouldn't be really worth my time or effort. Um, not with i5s and i7s being around 400 quid for refurbished ones. Um, so, two weeks later, I get this from uh, China, which is the only place I could find it. And it's a new cable. So, what we're going to do is connect it up and... Uh, See if the screen comes live. Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah, that's the right way around. Um, okay. Okay, do. Now then, uh, see if we can remember what we're doing. Power. Yep. Okay. This. And the power switch, which is there. In. Right. Right. I'm wondering if it actually needs the RAM in there. It's unlikely. Not that it gives you a RAM error if it can't find anything. 
and at least something comes up on the screen but um, doesn't seem to be the case here let's just drop that one in anyway just in case Wow, guys. Okay, that's unusual. Actually, I don't think I've come, well, maybe I've never come across it before. Dudes, we've got an i7. It was the cable. Wow, okay. Um, the, the reason I'm quite surprised is cables don't do a lot. There's nothing to go wrong with them unless they're twisted and broken. And maybe they're it's so broken across here, who knows? Uh, yeah, I guess the opening and closing is mechanical wear on it. Um, but other than that, they just don't do it. They connect one thing to another and there's no electronics to go wrong. There's no voltage problems. You know, it's just a cable. But anyway, there you go. I have an i7 laptop. Fantastic, because I've got an Alienware one already, but it's so heavy, it's unbelievable. Uh, and it's not really practical for taking around to clients or taking on holiday or, or doing anything, you know, with it normally. I mean, it weighs almost as much as a PC. Um, anyway, right, I'm going to shut this down. I'm going to rebuild it. Um, happy days. Nice. No, get off. Just a quick thing. I always stick the relevant screws in a bit of uh, sellotape and stick them to the part that they deal with. Then you don't have, end up with a you know a whole bowl full of screws and not having a clue where they're supposed to go. So there you are. Here we go again. I know what screws I need. MX16 or whatever it was is the keyboard screw. Cool. If we all be very careful and very quiet, he won't know we're behind him, and we can follow him to the other team. That is true. He's just driving along, looking for American tanks to destroy, but we're all behind him. 